Cape Fialant is one of the most fantastic places in Crimea. Fialant was formed about 150 million years ago after a violent volcanic eruption. Today, the Cape is a beautiful place with an abundance of rocks, abundant vegetation, clear water and unique air. The length of the Cape is about 7 kilometers, and the rocks are from 50 to 200 meters high. Today, the beach has an extremely developed infrastructure, it houses a rescue post, special awnings from the sun, a rental of sun umbrellas and sun loungers, rental of various water vehicles, trash cans and changing rooms, tents with drinks and ice cream, a souvenir stall and a toilet. The descent to Jasper Beach is very unusual. To reach the beach, you need to go down the ancient stone staircase, which consists of 800 steps. The descent takes on average 12 minutes, and the ascent takes 15 minutes, this is provided if you go without stopping. the beach is located almost at the exit from the quarantine bay. It got its name in the 19th century. Here ships were quarantined if there was a suspicion that there were people infected with infectious diseases on board. Now most of the bay also belongs to the Russian Navy. The shore is pebbly. The pebbles are large, white, rough, of poorly rolling limestone, so it is better not to walk on them with bare feet. The bottom is the same. Close to depth 2 to 3 meters. Even those who do not really like pebble beaches should visit this beach at least once. This is a real non-resort Sevastopol, hot, unkempt, but with a clean sea and a magnificent view of the ruins of Chersonesos and the Vladimir Cathedral. The central Sudik beach is the largest and most popular beach in the city, located right in the heart of the resort's coastline. Its length is about 250 meters long and up to 40 meters wide. Despite the very large size of the beach and the huge number of tourists, the coastline and sea lines are very clean. The territory is under constant sanitary control, which is rather an exception for beaches of this size. Sand deserves a special mention. It has a pleasant golden pink hue. The sand here is not ordinary, but quartz, which has medicinal properties. There is no entrance fee to the central beach. From the obligatory conditions on the territory of the coastline there is a medical center and a rescue tower, toilets, showers, and changing cabins. For a fee, you can rent sun loungers, mattresses, stationary umbrellas and many other beach equipment. There are three wild beaches in the village of Nikolaevka. The first is located in the northern part, towards the village of Frunz. The second is located under a high precipice, between the beaches of the Yakor and Dolphin Cooperative. And the third is located in the south of Nikolaevka towards the village of Beregovo. All beaches are absolutely free. Every year many local residents and guests of the Crimea have a rest there. Such popularity of wild beaches is due to their distance from the hustle and bustle and noise, beautiful nature around, as well as the clear sea. The wild beach, located between the Yakor and Dolphin cooperatives, stretches under a high cliff. In some places it is quite narrow, and in some places it reaches 20 meters wide. The length of the beach is 1 kilometer, so there is enough space for all vacationers. You can go down to it in three places, by stairs from the beach of the cooperatives, Anchor, and Dolphin, as well as from the side of Nabarezhna Street. Wild beaches of Nikolaevka are distinguished by undeveloped infrastructure. They have no sun loungers and umbrellas, showers and toilet cabins. Vacationers sunbathe on towels or bedspreads. Also, 
Trash cans are not installed on the beaches, so you need to stock up on a garbage bag in advance. Laskovi Barrig is one of the most popular beaches in Alushta. Like all Crimean beaches, it pleases visitors not only with the sun, warm sea and healing sea air, but also with magnificent views, which are good in their own way at any time of the day. Like many beaches in Crimea, the central beach in Alushta is pebble, in some places sand and pebble. The stones are quite large and in places sharp, therefore, sun loungers are provided here for a comfortable accommodation of tourists. It is important to know that the descent to the water on the beach is quite sharp, so teach older children to be careful when entering the sea, and keep the little ones under supervision. The beach has a long history and therefore has a well-established infrastructure. Everything that may be needed while resting, both on the water and on the shore, has been created here. In addition to sun loungers, the beach is equipped with awnings and straw umbrellas. Toilets, showers and changing cabins are available free of charge for vacationers. Any equipment you need on the beach is available for rent. 